Hello, good afternoon, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, wherever it is that the Lord has you on May 17th, 2024. I am Prophetess Rhea A. Doswell, founder of Sela Prophetic Ministries. I have two prophetic words, but I'm going to divide them into two videos. This is a very, very serious uh, prophetic warning for someone who is living in sexual sin. Okay, let me give you this word because it's a very serious word and I'm going to be graphic. Um, the Lord wants you to know you are not trusting your discernment and the discernment that God is talking about. He's talking about the ongoing warnings that have been given to you by him about fleeing from living in sexual sin. Okay, a sexual sinful lifestyle which goes against the word of God. And this is a form of living in perversion. In a prophetic dream, I walked into a funeral home and it was filled with the glory of the Lord for this purpose only. God was letting me know that this visitation was coming from him. I looked down and in your casket, and you are an African-American woman from what I could see, in the casket, which was a bronze brown color, you were dead in the casket. And looking at your face, I could see trauma, but the trauma was covered from the face on down with this thick slime coating. It looked like a scientific experiment of slime that covered your face from the top to the bottom. And the slime represented perversion and filth from the lifestyle that you had lived in the casket please pay attention if this is you this is going to resonate with your spirit this is not about condemnation but this is about a call coming from the lord that he is calling you to walk through deliverance now so that this does not end up happening to you and those that you love in your family because in your casket from what i could see underneath the slime there were two young little souls. One was laid to the left and one was laid to the right. And this is what I know by the Lord, that because of the decisions that you had made to live a life of sexual perversion, and this is because of who you chose to interact with to practice sexual perversion, somehow this had a trickle down effect on the people that you love in your family. And not only did the consequence cost you your life, this cost the life of those young souls in your family that you love. And so what the father is saying is that he wants you to run to him now. He wants you to repent of living a life of sexual perversion. He wants you to walk through deliverance now because he has plans for you. But what the enemy wants is the enemy wants to keep you in this bondage which has been a lifestyle for you it has been normal you've been comfortable in it yet you're trying to get right with god no god is saying to you as you hear this video this is your last call to take his hand and to be set free from this demonic spirit so that satan does not take your life and you end up in hell god wants you to know that this is a serious warning these are the grave consequences and this is the trap that the enemy has set that not only will you lose your life because of who you are interacting with in performing sexual perverted acts this is going to cause some young people in your family their life and this is a final warning from the lord if you do not turn and once again the reason why the glory of the lord was so strong in the funeral home it was not because you departed and went into glory no you died in the sin the glory represents God letting me know that this is him visiting me and letting me know that this is what the enemy plans for this purpose okay this is what he's planning for his purpose it's not God's purpose revelation 2 uh, 21 8 English Standard Version says, but as for the cowardly, the faithless, and the detestable, as for murderers, the sexual immoral, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. But what the Father wants you to be reminded of today is 1 Corinthians 10, 13. It says, no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability but with the temptation he will provide the way of escape that you may be able to 
endure it. So what the father is saying is that I am giving you a way out, but you must co-partner with the Lord to take the way out. And I want to encourage you to seek deliverance counseling. One of the most credible ministries that I can honestly say that um, I have witnessed, um, maybe like I want to say it's been seven or eight years as Apostle um, Ivory Hopkins and his beautiful wife, Evelyn. It's one of the most credible deliverance ministries that I have ever experienced that I believe is so credible. And so if you're in bondage and you need some assistance, I would have to say I would refer you to that type of ministry just because of the level of stewardship, faithfulness, ethics, integrity, and also the in-depth knowledge that Apostle Ivory Hopkins and his wife Evelyn has concerning people being delivered um, from sexual bondages. But this is a very serious warning to you. This is not condemning you, but this is a warning that God wants you to know that this is what the enemy is planning. And this is your final call to come out because once again, you're not detecting the dangers of the people who you are making a decision to interact with, to carry out sexual perverted acts. But God knows everything. He knows every hidden trap. He knows the day that we are born. He also knows the day that it is over. But there are decisions that we can make as human beings where you cut your time short on earth simply because you chose to live a life of sin. So if this is you, you know this is resonating in your spirit. There's something that you feel on the inside. You know how you are living. God has a destiny. God has a plan for you and your family. And this is not the will of the Lord that your life end like this and you end up going into eternity because you would die in sin and you will not be reconciled back to the Father. Your soul would be separated in hell. So please take this message to heart. If some of you know anyone who fits that description, the face was covered in like this thick slime, but I could tell by the complexion of the face that you are African American and God is calling you to come out of sexual sin. That is not the lifestyle that God has for you. You are a vessel, a handmaiden chosen by the Lord. God wants you to understand the value of your body and also what pure love is and living in moral sexual lives whether you're practicing group sex same sex fornication adultery all of it goes against the word of god and that is not god's original intent for any daughter he wants you delivered so that you can fulfill the divine call and purpose in your life so that you can truly understand what self-love is to love your body and allow the holy spirit to live on the inside of you okay so once again, um, please take this to heart and just know that the Lord loves you. He is trying to prevent this type of tragedy from happening to you and to your loved ones. So I love you guys in the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Stay alert. Stay discerning. Stay prayerful. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Okay. Bless you. Bye-bye.